Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and this particular tutorial is sponsored by Big Block Books. And in Big Block Books, we show you how you can create interactive ebooks. And yeah, I know, I own both companies. That's not the point. Anyway, what I want to show you is how you can do this quick little animation inside of PubCoder. And that's the program I use to create a lot of ebooks. So if I click on the pumpkin, little kitten pops up drops back down, okay? Click on a pumpkin, comes out there. And imagine this in like an iPad or a Kindle or Kindle Fire, definitely. But any of those things, you can have this type of interactivity in the middle of your story. And it's easier than you think. So let me jump over here to PubCoder. And this is actually showing the page. And you see all these different things happening. I'm gonna go to a new page here and show you how I put this together. I have four different pieces. I've got the pumpkin front, pumpkin back, paws, as well as a cat. Now, all of this was actually put together, uh, put this together, had my Illustrator send me these files, and so I built out one large file that's all the same size, so I exported each piece individually. So I've got the back of the pumpkin, I've got the cat, which by the way, I need the top of that little thing, so it makes a little shadow there. There's the front of the pumpkin, and then there's also the paws. All right, so let's jump back over to PubCoder. Let's show you how this is pretty much done. So I'm going to select all of these. I've already imported these, and I'll just drag them onto my page. I'm gonna click OK. And right now, I'm gonna click over here and look at layers. So the way this is looking at everything, um, I need to reorganize this. So the paws, I think I need to move those up front. Those are there. The hat, or the little cat, needs to actually be in front of the pumpkin front, or the pumpkin back. So paws are there on the top layer. Pumpkin front, cat, and then the back. Now, one of the first things I need to do, I know that the cat's gonna pop up, but the hands themselves, or the paws, should not be visible. So inside of PubCoder, when you click on this, you can go over here, you've got project, page, and selection. So my layers, I have the paws selected. So right now it even tells me, hey, pause, okay? tells me what size it is, all this information. What I'm actually looking for is hidden. So I can turn it on, and now it's kind of showing this kind of transparent. And that just lets me know inside the program, it's letting me know this is actually hidden if we decide to play this right now. Secondly comes the other part. We are going to click on the pumpkin front, and this time, instead of the selection, we're gonna go over to interactivity. So by default, tap is already set up. And what I wanna do is basically, if I tap on the pumpkin, then I want the cat to move, all right? So tap is selected. I'll come here and click on add a new action. And so I'll select move object. Now, by default, it says self, meaning do I want the pumpkin to move? And actually, I don't want the pumpkin to move. So I'll click this, and instead of self, I'll come down and select cat. Okay. Now, if you look, there's this little guy here, little crosshairs. I can click on this, and I'm gonna push upward, because I want the cat to move kind of upward, like straight up. And I'm eyeballing it so it makes sense about how tall he is versus his paws. That looks good right there. So the only thing I've done is I click on tap and it moves the object, okay? So if I were to do this, um, if I were to go ahead and test this out, I can click on preview. 
And now if I tap on the pumpkin, he moves up. But that's all he does. All right. So let's jump back to the program. And let's add a few things. One, um, I want to have him go up here and I want him to wait. So he's going to pop up there and I'll click here. So I'll come down to time and I can click on wait. By default, it says one second, but I can come down here to the bottom. I want him to wait 1.5 seconds. And then I want him to move right back down to where he was. So to do that, we'll add another action. We'll click Move Object. And again, it's going to ask for self. I'll click here and select Cat. Now, I could try to manually move where that is, or right now, because that's set up to the mode is set up to Delta, and that's what that would be. I can click down here and come back and say, go back to the initial position. All right. So now if we play this, I'll click, goes up and drops back down. Click, it goes up and drops back down, which is the right timing. The only thing we're missing is the pause. So let's jump back in here and I'll add a new action. And what I want to do is show an object. There's hide object, and this is an alphabetical order. Show object, not self, but we'll show the pause. Now here's the thing. I don't want to show the pause at the very end, because if you look, this is still in order. Move object, wait, and move object back to where it was. So I'll have this move object, and then I can click and move show object here. Okay. Wait five points, five, excuse me, we're gonna wait 1.5 seconds. And what I wanna do is add one more action because I need to hide that object. So again, make sure it's not the self, I'm gonna make it pause. So we move the object, the cat comes up, we show the pause, we're waiting 1.5 seconds, we hide the pause, and then we move the object back down. Okay, so now if we try this, and there we have it. Cat goes up, paws are out, and it happens quick enough that you don't even realize that Paws aren't even animated, okay? So there you have how simple it is to add some pretty cool animation inside of PubCoder. So the way you need to look at things is, hmm, what could we do? For instance, one of the tutorials we're gonna be doing is Humpty Dumpty. What if you could shake your tablet and Humpty Dumpty starts rocking back and forth and then he falls? Little fun stuff like that. What if there was a little pullback car or a little dolly with a pull string on it? So think of pop-up books and things like that and how you would actually do them interactively and build them inside of PubCoder. And you can do all of that without coding anything and knock it out pretty simply. Just change the way you're thinking about things and make it not just point and click, but really interactive. All right? We're going to follow this up next time, and we're going to add some sound. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com and BigBlockBooks.com. And letting you know, we also have a masterclass in PubCoder coming up. If you haven't already, sign up for that. We are going to be releasing that in November. And right now we're running an early bird special. So you can go ahead and get that for about, well, there's a large discount. So check it out. Anyway, if you like this tutorial, be sure to share it and like and subscribe because we have other things like this coming out soon. Have a good one.